Let's face it, Yanagi is literally just a few short days away. Now, I'm very stoked on her because she is a very plain girl. And when I say plain, I don't mean it in a bad way. I don't need my comments coming after me again. When I say plain, she's not anapromorphic. She's not, you know, a, a robot girl. She's just your normal human girl, it looks like. So it seems. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Plus, she has giant, massive, you know, booba. And I love that about, you know, my anime women. <laughs> but outside of that, she's just your normal, typical girl. She's your basic average girl. She's not Kim Possible. But my point on this is that she looks cool being just a normal girl. Now, does that mean you should summon for her? Well, when we're talking about characters, you shouldn't be going off of looks alone. So today we're going to be talking about if you should summon for Yanagi on her banner and if it's worth your, you know, poly polychrome, polychrome, polychrome. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyways, before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to check out my sponsor, Gamersubs. Use code TYSTRA for 10% off. Why is my thing not working? There we go. I was like, gosh, diggity darn it, man. This thing did not want to work the first couple times I recorded this. Make sure you use code TYSTRA for 10% off on Gamersubs. Gluten-free, keto-friendly energy, great for the soul. Today's flavor is a mixture of lean and then red raspberry. Mm. Oh, man. I ain't sleepy no mo, that's for dang sure. Now, first things first, when we get into these videos, we have to talk about the A rank agents that we're gonna be going for first. So let's go ahead and bring up Anby. Now, Anby's pretty cool. Uh, I like using Anby because obviously she's the first character you get. She, you're, You literally get her for free. So automatically it's kind of like already a downside to that, but she is very fun to play as in my personal opinion. I really do like using Ambi in regards to like, you know, just normal stuff. Like I haven't used her in the sense of like going into the harder mode stuff, like, you know, my weekly boss destructions, which isn't really that hard, but at the same time, when you're going in there, it's time consuming. And if you're already spending a lot of time in there, you probably just want to use your main team to get, get them done real, real quick. So to me, like seeing Ambi here in the tier one spot, right in the middle she's mid but mid's not entirely a bad thing um seeing her right there is actually not bad especially when she ties with stun in regards to coletta pretty dang cool now as i just said she is a stun unit and what's really cool about her as well is for her basic attack if you do like your basic attack basic attack and then basic attack but hold the third one you could do what's called a different sequence or basically you do a hard hit and she does this little lightning strike that can cause a little bit of extra buildup, right? So I like that, but she's really cool in a lot of different teams. Like if we look at this, this is just, we're looking at the tier list. Now granted, we may not agree with the tier list. Some of you might put Anby over in tier zero and that's perfectly fine. This is just kind of, you know, like a generalization, right? Because she is a stun unit, you could pair her up with the likes of Jane Doe. You could pair her up alongside Shu Yan. You could pair her up alongside, uh, let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. I mean, yeah, you could still play her, pair her up with really any DPS and it'd be fine. But I would honestly think if I'm using her, my best sources of uh, teamwork would probably be with uh, Zhu Yan and Jane Doe. Because Jane Doe and... Well, Jane Doe, I know, is more universal. Zhu Yan pretty much works right she's up there but she can definitely be used in any team really for that matter like being a four star stun unit and getting her for free is really really good um but again you get her for free so it doesn't entirely leave a lot to be desired in my personal opinion because you already get her so it's gonna be a thumbs down for uh and only because of the fact you get her for free which doesn't bode well for our second a rank unit or agent Billy. Billy's good. Billy's fun. Um, the tier list has him set at 1.5. And it kind of makes sense because every time I've used Billy, his damage output is not entirely great. But he is fun to play. I do like being able to dash forward. And when I use my attack button, he does the little uh, spin. Um, his animations are really, really sick. And his character design is a lot of... Not a lot. <laughs> I don't know why I was going to say a lot. Um... But his character design is really, really dope. I like it. I like the story behind him being kind of like an adoptive son of the uh, Sons of Kaladin or 
was a part of the Sons of Kaladin alongside Lighter, was what basically one of their champions. So that's pretty dang cool. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, as it stands, Billy is just a normal physical attacker. Doesn't really hold or doesn't really do anything crazy. Um, he does get like a 50% boost in his ultimate uh, through his uh, or to his chain attack or use the chain attack and the damage to his ultimate is increased by 50%. So, um, but yeah, that's about it. Like, I don't think really Billy has anything to be desired. Um, especially if you look at who he's up against, you know, like in the same tier, you can get Nekomata or even Anton. And then for five stars, like if you could pull soldier 11, you're just that one step closer. But honestly, like if you look, even if you're going for an anomaly DPS, you got Piper, which Piper was a part of, uh, Bernice's banner. I think it was, yeah, part of Bernice or no, it was Lucy. That was a part of Bernice's banner, I think. And then Piper was a part of Caesar. I could be wrong. I can't entirely remember. But Piper's up there as being really, really good as well. Um, you got Grace, which Grace is just hot. Um, but there's so many DPSs to really choose from. You don't entirely need Billy. The only one that you wouldn't pick over Billy most of the time is Corrin, which is pretty sad because I think Corrin's gameplay is a lot of fun too. But you also get Billy for free. So it's a lot of downers, to be honest. So to me, it's going to be a thumbs down for Billy as well. Now let's talk about Yanagi. So I want to look into her a little bit more to kind of understand her a bit. So first things first, let's talk about our core skills. After Yanagi activates her special uh, attack EX, the damage multiplier of Disorder is increased by 125 when any squad member ugh, blah, 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 when any squad member applies the Disorder effect to an enemy lasting 15 seconds. When her EX special attack hits an enemy, Yanagi's electric damage against the target is increased by 10 for 15 seconds and then of course the additional ability guessu or guess all uh when another character in your squad is an anomaly character or shares the same attribute after switching stances when yanagi hits an enemy with basic attack sukuyomi kagura, kagura anomaly buildup increases by 45 percent for eight seconds so what does that mean well anyone in her squad or anyone of her typing so you obviously got let's see we got Sokaku in the same squad. We got Seth. We got Anby. We got Grace, Anton, uh, Rina. So there's a couple of ones that you can use. Plus, with Miyabi on the horizon, and then we know that we're getting um, the guy that's in his, in their squad, Misub, Misubi, Misuba, or Masa. You, you know what I'm talking about. But with him coming up, you do have that possibility right there basic attack sukuyomi kagura uh execute up to five forward slashes based on the current stance using physical damage and electric damage during combat yanagi gains the corresponding stance buff based on her current stance jugen stance buff electric damage increases by 10 percent anti-interruption level increases during basic attacks uh kagen stance makes pen ratio go up by 10 percent and then interruption level increases for basic attacks and then for eight seconds after switching stances, Yanagi regains the bonus from the previous stance. So you could literally get the electric damage and the pen ratio damage for eight seconds. That's pretty freaking crazy, right? So we go over to her special attack. Now, intense heat aging method, perform a forward slash dealing electric damage and switch to the current, uh, current stance. Anti-interruption level is increased while using the skill. If activated after the third, fourth, or fifth hit of a basic attack, it activates switch root 10, speeding up the slash and the stance change. Block enemy attacks while uh, swift root 10 is active. Upon activating swift root 10, or root 10, Yanagi can immediately follow up with the third hit of the current stance basic attack. And then if we go to the EX special of it, with enough energy, press the special button. Charge up power for a quick forward thrust, followed by a downward strike or attack, dealing massive electric damage. Upon executing the thrust, Yanagi switches stances and, enter, and enters the Shirabansu state, lasting 15 seconds for the duration of this state when following up with a su subsequent, my bad, subsequent basic attack with the fifth hit in the basic attack or other skills. The combo will begin directly from the third hit or the basic attack. The downward attack hits an enemy. Suffering an anomaly, it triggers a special disorder effect, uh, polarity disorder, dealing 50% of the original disorder's effect damage to the target, plus an additional 32% of Yanagi's anomaly proficiency. So you're going to want to build their high anomaly proficiency, it seems. Then, of course, we got the chain attack here, Celestial Harmony. 
uh, switches stances and unleashes a powerful slash on the enemy in front, dealing massive electric damage. Character is invulnerable while using the skill, and after using the skill, you can automatically follow up with the third hit of the current stance's basic attack. Then if you go for the ultimate, the Rye Ten or Tengi? Tengi? Uh, Yanagi unleashes her potential and delivers a powerful slash to a large area of enemies in front of her for a very short time, followed by an additional lightning strike, dealing massive electric damage. When the electric strike hits an enemy affected by the attribute anomaly, it triggers a special disorder effect called Polarity Disorder, and it just goes over the Polarity Disorder stuff right here. So ultimately, she's going to be a electric anomaly DPS, which is pretty apparent because she's going to be an even said electric anomaly. But what's really cool, I think is she's going to be up here alongside Jane and Bernice. And the reason why I say that is because right now the game is building up its DPSs and anomaly, well, just DPSs in general. So you have your pure DPSs and you have your anomaly DPSs. I think the game is doing really, really well with building up these DPSs to be monsters right and i think yanagi is going to be another one do i think that yanagi is going to be a must summon if you look at it from a banner perspective and how how early we are in the game right i'm gonna say yes now it's really dependent on what team you're wanting to run i think obviously with an electric team or even just a team alongside her uh what's it called what's the what's the squad name i'll find it really quick uh, it should say her squad name somewhere. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I think I'm crazy. But yeah, her squad or section section six actually. It says right there. I'm dumb. But if you want if you want to run a section six team or an electric team, she's gonna be perfect for that. She's gonna be really really good, and I I truly believe she's gonna be able to output a lot of DPS. So do I think Yanagi's a must summon right now? I'm kind of in the middle, leaning more on the yes. And the only reason why I'm saying yes is because, again, with the releases of Jane Doe and Bernice being crazy anomaly DPSs, I think that Yanagi is going to follow suit. I don't think they're going to, you know, backpedal and make her weaker. So I would definitely say that Yanagi is one of those units that you should consider summoning more. So with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Again, check out Gamersubs. Use code Tystra for 10% off. I'm telling you guys, it's fantastic. And I know a lot of other streamers will tell you as well. So take it from me. Use my code. Get me up there. I'm trying to get my own cup, man. Come on. So anyways, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. Love you all to death. And as always, we'll catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.